to exposures too much. Welcome back to La Vida Mora, Puerto Rico. It has been forever. I know. So today we are going to Tuado. Little day trip with the kids. I had this in mind for so long, but Puerto Rico experienced some really, really heavy rains and intense flooding. I didn't ride, so that put a little um, pause on our day out, but we are leaving now. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. We are in the month of May. Let's get my hat on. <sighs> yeah, I pinch it so it's not going down in the back. Enjoy the trip with us. We will do sort of like a recap at the end of this vlog. Maybe tomorrow make it some cafecito just to give you my thoughts and ideas of the level of intensity. Is it kid friendly? Is it special needs friendly? My son is going with us and he is on the autism spectrum and has Prader Willi syndrome. So his mobility physically is not very well. His balance is not very well. So we are taking this step by step. What I do know is that the place is easy to get to. As far as accessing the entire grounds, it might not be. So we'll just go accordingly. Voy a decir... Voy a desayunar rapidito. I just made some like quick little sandwiches and going to drink my cafe in the car. No, tampoco. No. Maybe it's that way. Okay. Wow. Okay, come on. <laughs> I had to leave my son close by. He's on a rock over there. Because this is too hard for him. He can hear us. And he can see us. I'm just gonna look at this real quick here and go right back up. We're gonna go to a different part that's easier for him, but... We're looking for El Sofa. We have not found it yet. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so beautiful. This is gorgeous. I don't know how anybody does this with shoes on. This is just so much easier barefoot. See, one slip easily on the rock as yeah, well. It's crazy. Pero de verdad te... ¿Ver? No sé. Ay, está confundido. Uh, big coconut. So, um... I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the famous spot with my daughter, but this is so, so beautiful. Ok, uno, dos y tres. <laughs> Pero 
con cá mà starting to head back and I will continue this vlog tomorrow morning while making cafe to give you my thoughts pros and cons from different perspectives so if you're interested in that you can stay tuned to the end of this vlog if not you can just leave now besitos we're going to climb over the rock road down to the main road did you guys have fun? did you have fun? how about you Jay? How about you? <laughs> I have fun. You have fun? Oh. How about you, Nuni? Nuni! Two thumbs up. Is it easy or hard? Oh, it's hard for him. It's okay. We did what we could. Mommy, when you. Oh, I'm dead frog. When you. Oh. Read it like pink. Mom. Madonna loves this purple branch. <laughs> Hola, what is up guys? It is the next morning, the morning time. Afternoon, but I'm going to make myself some cafe anyway. Even though I'm boiling. <laughs> it's hot, 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 hot. So I edited the vlog already and then I went to go swimming. I'm now showered, refreshed, and I'm going to talk very quickly about the trip okay so it was in a way a fail for the level of intensity so for me i have to unfortunately mark this as one of those places that it was nice because of the environment because of the experience because of the beauty because of the nature but i will not return with my kids it was so complicated for my son to get anywhere near the rocks there's just too many grooves and dips and holes and spaces and levels you know it's like you go up down sideways in out it's just all over the place okay for me okay for even somebody who's at a um, beginner moderate level and just could just pace themselves and go slowly not okay for my son so that was an unfortunate he started to cry at one point because he couldn't do it um but we talked to him we made him feel better we went to another side that was easy for him that was still a little complicated i was so proud of him i think he just wanted so bad to participate but anyway these are these are um señales signs to just help him get on a stronger quicker path to better health so more work for mommy and more work for him so that's okay maybe we needed the push he's he's been doing great but maybe we just need to like step it up a little as for my daughter <sighs> oh, she had me so nervous um she could do it the problem was that I was nervous doing it with her. I was too nervous to do it with her because she's very adventurous and it was just giving me sort of like an anxiety seeing her hop around on the rocks, to be quite honest with you. So, I'm not using Leche today. I actually bought this. I haven't had this in so, so, so long and I just decided to treat myself because I've been eating really, really clean and simple, but it was on sale and I said, you know what, I'm going to buy it. So getting back to my daughter, she was she's she's physically able to do it. I just 
honestly didn't want to do it with her. <laughs> I didn't want to resume the responsibility. My son was waiting in an area up on top, and I just, it was making me so nervous. I couldn't, I just could not get through it. Let's get this cafe going so we can talk some more. I have paint on my fingernails. That's why they look like that. Like with manchas. They're not dirty. They're stained. I totally forgot. I promised my kids some adding on in my room. So we're going to just cook this for a minute while we talk. Okay, so getting back to it. The place is very difficult to get to if you follow the gps i'm going to leave the roads that you should be on if gps is taking you on any other road you are going the long scenic route through mountains and it's crazy do not take it the roads that you should be on will be listed below if you are not on these roads then that means that gps threw you for a loop um the other thing is once you are there El Sofa is just one of the rock formations that actually looks like a sofa that you can stand inside of and it's very Instagram, you know, photo type of cool thing. But the whole entire area is sacred and beautiful and mind-blowing and worth the trip, even if you cannot climb all the way down. Um, what else did I want to say? It, it's also once you are there on the road for the actual place it's a little difficult to find where the exact entrance is because it's very um, rugged and you know it's not like a clean path so the best bet is to look for the empanadilla cart or um, food truck I didn't see it because we parked further down and we walked but Apparently, up further up, further up the road, there is an empanadilla food truck or stand, and that is the closer area to get to the actual path to a sofa, if that's what you really want. You don't need to just go there. That is more of a, tur um, a photo op. Um, you don't need to do that. The whole area is pretty walkable. Um, with caution of course or at least just going down the path to get to the top of it just to look at it and take it in and just really be in the moment and appreciate it extra for the other days and the other days right tomorrow and I sprinkle cinnamon in here and eat what's left. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. Okay, Ganana. I like extra cinnamon. I like mine spicy. Their little lunch snack is ready. And they probably have a piece of fruta. A slice of bread or something with butter. So all in all, it was... For me, it's not a trip I would take again with them. If I could have chose to do something different, to be quite honest with you, I would have chosen to do something different. Just because it was so complicated to maintain both of them there. It's more of a trip I would like to take with adults. I want to go back with a group of friends um, or a friend and just really appreciate, well, not really appreciate it, access it. Like I said, I know my daughter could do it, but it's just something that she, it's better for her to do with her father because he doesn't get as nervous as I get. So I know I can do it physically myself, but I was afraid to do it with her. So the wind just came so hard that it that startled me. Um, so going back to what I was saying, it's not a trip that I recommend for your little ones, to be quite honest with you. And maybe some will disagree, but there were families that were there and they were looking at us like I was crazy for even attempting to go down there with my daughter. And they seem like a very fit 
family there was another family too that looked like they were local that they just kind of went to the river part that me and the kids stood at for the most for most for the most part um but yeah my phone just ran out of storage so i had to delete stuff and come back yes i kind of lost my train of thought but i was saying that i don't recommend it for children um teenagers and over and up that's just my humble opinion you can disagree um if you're just sightseeing and you just want to drive by and you're sort of kind of in the area and it wasn't like a three hour drive like it was for us then okay it's nice to go by there the area has a special energy and you definitely feel it it's not um something that you can um ignore or deny but it just wasn't for me it wasn't worth the going across the island for it because i felt limited but that's my situation because i want my children if i was with adults i could have spent the whole day there um so that's it if you stood for this end part thank you so much besitos again Cafecito, besitos. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one i actually have family here from new york i have so many people coming here between May, June, and July that I just am so busy <laughs> um, with all the little meetups that I'm doing. So in between there, we'll get some more content for sure. Not too much, but so. Bye-bye.